Hey, 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 everybody. My name is Sean Hatzel. I'm a stubborn fat expert for people over 35 years old. I'm also the owner of Get Lean and 12, an online fitness community that's helped well over 100,000 people across the globe and just in the last few years alone. And inside this video, I'm going to introduce you to a really cool metabolic trick that can increase your fat loss by showing you how to ride the fat burning wave. And this is exactly how you should eat after exercise if your goal is to quickly lose more belly fat. So I'm also gonna introduce you to a free report called the Over 40 Stubborn Fat Sequence that you can find at the link located in the description for this video. And it's gonna introduce you to a 12 minute metabolic protocol you can use before going to bed or when you wake up a few times of the week to reactivate declining fat loss hormones. And this is especially effective for people over 35. So if you're in your 40s, 50s, or 60s, pay close attention to this video. Let's talk about how to ride the fat burning wave. So up here on the whiteboard, you're gonna see I've listed three hormones, insulin, adrenaline, and growth hormone, and I've listed two types of exercise. First one's called HIE, high intensity exercise. So there's several different ways that you could do this. The second column is steady state cardio. So regular, long duration, steady state cardio where you maintain a steady pace the entire time. Now the way that these two exercise types impact hormones are gonna be different. And this is also gonna determine how you eat after exercise. For example, when you use steady state cardio, it takes about 20 minutes of being in your target heart rate zone before the body starts using fat as a fuel source. And because of this, it really doesn't elevate your metabolic rate for very long afterwards. So within about 60 minutes after a steady state cardio session, the metabolic rate is almost back to baseline or normal. So there's really no hormones at work during this process because the exercise intensity isn't high enough to release adrenaline or growth hormones. So they're not affected at all by steady state cardio. However, when you use high intensity exercise, especially metabolic bursting, which is the specific movement patterns, rest periods, and intensity levels that are found inside my free report at the link around this video, what ends up happening is this kicks up the body's fight or flight response, the sympathetic nervous system, and it forces the adrenal glands to release more adrenaline. So when you engage in high intensity exercise, it keeps insulin low, which keeps the body in a fat burning environment. It increases adrenaline, and adrenaline is a precursor to burning more belly fat, and it's also been shown in scientific research to increase growth hormone levels 400 to 700%. Now this is extremely important, especially if you're over 35, because after 35 years old, growth hormone levels decline rapidly. This is a condition known as somatopause. And the 12 minute metabolic protocol found inside the free report at the link in the description of this video is gonna show you how to fight against somatopause and how to naturally increase growth hormone levels up to 400 to 700% in just 12 minutes per day. So understanding this, what ends up happening is this will determine how we eat after exercise because when you're done using a metabolic bursting protocol, like the 12 minute workout chart found inside my free report, it can actually elevate the metabolic rate for 38 to 48 hours afterwards. Now remember, steady state cardio doesn't do this. So when you're done exercising, after doing steady state cardio, you can eat right away because glycogen levels from your muscle tissue and your liver tissue have been depleted rapidly from the steady state cardio and it's gonna be more longer in duration as well. So it's gonna deplete more glycogen, right? Where the short high intensity exercise bursts are gonna manipulate hormones more. So they don't have to be as long in duration, it only takes 12 minutes. But because it releases adrenaline and growth hormone, this means that right after the workout, your body will continue to burn fat and calories for up to 60 to 90 minutes afterwards if you just ride the fat burning wave and don't eat and you trick your body into burning more fat. Now, if you eat, after metabolic bursting or high intensity exercise, it's still a healthy choice and your body is going to be much less likely to use any, store any of that food as a, as a fat because your body is going to be busy replenishing glycogen levels in the liver and muscle tissue. So you're going to use that food as fuel afterwards to recover. However, when you eat, you raise insulin levels and insulin is the antagonist to adrenaline and growth hormones. So if you eat after high intensity exercise, although it's a healthy choice, it can slow down the fat loss process. So the trick is this, just ride that fat burning wave for 60 to 90 minutes afterwards. If it's steady state cardio, it really doesn't matter. You can eat right away. But if it's high intensity exercise, let these hormones work their magic for 60 to 90 minutes afterwards. Now, in order to make all this magic happen, you need to know how to use the right movement patterns, the right rest periods, and the right intensity levels based on your age category. And that's exactly why I want you to click the link somewhere in the description of this video 
go download my free PDF called the Over 40 Stubborn Fat Sequence. If you don't see it in your inbox, in the next 20 to 30 minutes, make sure you go to your spam folder and whitelist us because I want to continue to follow up with you via email and coach you and give you great content like you found inside this video. So if you got something out of this and you learned something, can you throw me some likes? Can you throw me some hearts? Drop a comment if you have questions. Tag a friend that you know can benefit from this. Thanks for taking time out of your busy day to check this out and keep going strong.